as much flack as I got last time when I did a pipe cleaning video because I gave you one of my dailies and just beat the crap out of it. I'm going to show you how I actually clean my pipe so you guys can see the flack. I'm going to make this video. I figured this would be the best way to do it. Welcome back to the real pipe cleaning. <clears throat> also some weird conversation. Uh, this one I've been doing is my daily pipe for about three days and it's starting to bubble on me. It's time to give it a clean out and to dry out. You can even see like I've got some unburnt stuff in the bottom there, which is exactly how I like it. I actually prefer an ice pick or an owl. owl. Um, tends to work a little bit better than those cheapy tools that you get. So, I have a question for you guys. If you guys happen to see this, what do you actually see? And I'll give you my answer at the end of the video. It, it, it has to do with perspective. You know, how many, and I hate saying it, but how many NPCs do you guys, or non-player characters, do you run into? Um, Matrix is, I'm not sure if it's real or not, but it should be. Perception versus preconceived notions. I mean, we all have preconceived notions. That's how our brain functions. It takes up. 70% of our energy usage in our body for calories, so the brain's going to find shortcuts. Interesting fact, you don't actually see the entire world, you only see snippets of it. So, now we've got uh, my true scraper. You notice that the char is still there. But it got me thinking that uh, how many people are just running around Ah, ugh. And just kind of going through the motions, you know? And that's sad. That really is. It's like, I heard a quote yesterday. And it was actually from a writer friend of my wife's. One of somebody, an author that she really, really respects. Is, Imagine going and dying. And then today is the first day of the bonus section. So, if you live your life like that, and every day is a bonus, I don't think you're going to quite be just kind of doing the drone stuff every day. You know, it's who, what, where, and why. You know, um, somebody was asking me about uh, why I named my channel Grumpy Grandpa's Garage. Well, interesting perspective. The older I get, the less tolerance I've got for drama, bullshit, crap, denial, non-reality, plastic food, plastic people. And I've noticed that my circle has gotten way smaller. Even my uh, youngest son, who's uh, in his mid-30s, has uh, made comment of that, that his social circle has gotten a lot smaller. And he asked me why I think that is, and I said, well... You're young, all that stuff that you've got running around in your brain and got to go see the world and don't want to miss out on anything. And as you get older, so you start to see stuff and it's just like, eh, not sure. Not sure how to do it. So that one's set. Put that in the rack. So this is my other one. This is my only Dr. Carver I still have. Um, not a big fan of them, but this is actually one of the better ones. Do the same thing. So, and it's not necessarily grumpy. It's just it's a lack of. I, I really don't want to give attention to idiots. Um, they thrive on it. I mean, you know, guy was asking me today. I was talking, had a meeting. He says, "What do you think really is wrong with the world?" 
This is, you know, besides the mental health crisis that we've got going on here. And so what do you think of the cause of it? And honestly, I just say liberalism. And I'm, I'm not a Republican, but not by any means. The uh, closest thing I would be is an anarcho-capitalist. And yes, I think capitalism is fine, but not the capitalism that we've got right now. Right now we've got crony capitalism. So, I don't know. I've learned a lot over the years. You know, it's like, like even my siblings, which I love. I love that I've got five siblings. There's some of them that I just don't agree with and I don't talk with. And I'm, I'm sorry, I still love them, but it, it's just some of them. It's, uh, there's some characteristics that I really don't like, you know. I guess with the uh, age comes perception, with perception comes wisdom. So that's why, because it's so a grumpy old man. And I'm not really all that grumpy. Um, I'm just a bit gruff, rough around the edges, but who isn't? I'm going to have to repair that. I've got a crack in that right there. So I'll do a video on that later. I'll get a epoxy tool for that. So anyway, last piece of advice I would have. Don't be an idiot in public. If you're going to do stupid stuff, do it in private. Um, you know about being an idiot? Just don't. Nobody wants to see that. You put a muffler on your car, that kind of stuff. So, I know it's kind of an odd video for me, but it's been one that I've been wanting to make for a little bit. So, there you have it. Get off the lawn. So, I know I asked you, what do you see when you see that? So, um... Didn't put your answers in the comment. I'm going to tell you what I see now here. It's about perspective. You see nowhere. You might want to like look in the mirror.